Barn cats truly are the best defense on the farm against rodents. That, I can assure you. How you doing guys? Chad here. Welcome back to the channel. And thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup here at the Hen Spring Farm. We're gonna talk about cats today, guys, and all of the fun and glory that they bring to the farm. We've had some great success with keeping cats here at the farm to defend the property against mice and rodents and whatnot. And I just wanted to share a little bit with you today. So come along with me, hang out for a while, and let's talk about cats and how they are the best defense on the farm against mice and other rodents. Let's go. Let's just get in the chicken house and check for some eggs. Let's see if these cats follow me into the chicken house like they usually do. It's a bright sunny day here in Ontario, Canada, but it is brisk, very brisk. Cats love following me everywhere I go around the farm, guys. They're awesome. As some of you may have already figured out, mice and other rodents are super attracted to farms. Super attracted to farms. You know why? Because you got wide open fields for them to forage for food. You got lots of feed for farms, animals that they store, and the mice always want to get into that. And in addition to that, there's usually an abundance of water around. They also don't mesh very well with farmers' crops, you know. They get into it and sometimes can destroy those crops. Examples of rodents that you may find at farms around the world are obviously mice. There's so many different varieties of mice. You got rats, of course. You got small snakes. You got squirrels. You got chipmunks. You got moles, voles, you name it. And you have also other pests that barn cats can take care of, like small snakes, grasshoppers, things like that. You okay, kiddo? Not a bad egg haul in the morning. You gotta come back and check the eggs in the afternoon because they may lay some more and if you don't get them, they'll be frozen and cracked and no good. <laughs> Our cats just love sitting there watching the chickens. <laughs> I mean, the chickens are a bit too big for them to, to, uh, to kill, but they may still try to attack. There's something else, these cats. We're a 90-acre farm here in Ontario, Canada, and we have six barn cats. We have Fozzie Bear. He's a five-year-old male. And we have Stormy Barn Cat. She was our very first barn cat ever. And then we have the Claw Crew. The Claw Crew are a group of four kittens. They're almost cats now because they're so big. We've definitely found a huge reduction in our rodent activity here at the farm since introducing these barn cats. Those two are tracking a squirrel in the tree. They won't take their eyes off the squirrel. They pretty much have fun all day long at the farm, but at the same time, they're always paying attention. They're always 
on the lookout and their natural instincts kick in and they they've caught some mice in their time they've become quite the rodent killing machines yes they have now our barn cats live completely free here on the farm i do not lock them up i do not cage them they have full access in and out of the barn they have full access in and out of my workshop and they have heated places to sleep and they have a lot of nooks and crannies for them to hide in rats are very smart and if they see one of their buddies dead in a trap then they have the capacity to learn and know for next time not to go in that trap the same goes for rat poison if they see there's a whole bunch of their friends lying there dead because they ate that poison then they're gonna learn not to eat it and honestly who wants to have a bunch of poison around their farm anyway we definitely don't trim the claws of the cats that's why we call them the claw crew because they got claws like wolverine but they need the claws that's how they catch the prey that's how they climb up trees that's how they defend themselves and there's a lot of coyote around there's a lot of you know raccoons and fox and those types of predatory animals that will go after cats they need to be able to defend themselves they need to be able to climb up trees and get away from the prey if they need to um, so far i've found that our cats are very very weary of everything you know if they hear a sound they'll they'll kind of jerk themselves around and they're always paying attention to what's going on there are a lot of hawks around here too i haven't ever seen a hawk in the vicinity but i mean you never know that's why they need claws to go like that to the hawk. <laughs> Chunky, what are you doing? What is that, a mouse or a bird? Can't tell. Come on, buddy. Chunky? Chunky? Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing, Maggie? What are you doing in there? Lovely, you keeping me company, girl? Huh? Keeping me company? Stormy, are you keeping an eye on these guys? Are you keeping an eye on these guys for me? Huh, Stormy. How about you, Dex? Are you okay, buddy? Where's Chunky? Where's your buddy Chunky? Ah, Dexter. Three duck eggs today, guys. You guys all waiting to get into the shop? Uh, you guys want breakfast? Hey, Molly, how about you? You just gonna eat some snow? Fuzzy! <laughs> You're coming out of the barn! Proud of you, bud. Fuzzy, are you coming in? Are you coming in, buddy? Huh? You're going to stay outside? Where are you going? You going to check out the cat door? I don't think you can fit in there, bud. You're too fat. I don't think you can fit in there, bud. You're too fat. Fuzzy. Fuzzy, look. Barn cats are a natural rodent control. No pesticides needed. No poisons needed. All you got to do is give them some love and give them some attention and they're going to work hard for you on the farm.
Thing is, guys, not all cats will catch mice. Not all cats are great mousers, especially cats that have lived their whole life indoors. Now, the idea of having a barn cat is the barn cat lives outside, doesn't go inside the house and live with the family. It's not considered a pet. Although, us at the farm here, we treat them as half protection of the farm and half pets because I give them great food, I give them a lot of love and attention, and I feel like I can accomplish both. And as long as they're earning their keep at the farm, they're gonna get some great food from us. Fuzzy, where are you going? Fuzzy! Fuzzy! <laughs> He's not listening. He's not listening at all. Let's go track him down. He hardly ever comes out of the barn, Fuzzy Bear. You know, all the other cats, they love to roam around the property. But Fuzzy, he's a barn body, you know, like a home body, but he sticks to the barn. <laughs> Our barn cats pretty much patrol the entire farm area of the property. And what I mean by that is we're a 90 acre farm here. It's a wide, wide area. And then the cats don't wander away from the immediate farm area, you know, like we have the house over there. We have the workshop. We have a duck house over there. We have a garden up there. We have the orchard. We have the chicken house. And then we have the barn right here behind me. And that's pretty much where the cats always patrol. Now, that being said, way down at the end there, way down at the end of that driveway is our drive shed where I keep all the farm equipment. And I've seen Stormy Barn Cat down there a bunch of times and she's she knows how to get back like it's not far cats pretty much patrol everywhere if i go to the barn they come to the barn when i'm going to collect the eggs they all come and keep me company <laughs> and they're getting along good with molly the sheepdog too we have an old english sheepdog here her name's molly they get along great with her molly thinks she's the mum to all the cats stormy barn cat stays in our workshop here and she's got a heated food dish and a heated water dish and she's got this cool little tent and the tent has a, a heating pad in the bottom and it's thermostatically controlled so it's not like the heating pad is on all the time also last year i built this little miniature barn it's actually a cat house i call it a barn cat barn but it has uh it has an entrance and it's fully insulated and there's enough room in here for all the barn cats that's Fozzy, Chunky, Dexter, Maggie, and Lovely. And there's enough room for all of them in this cat house. Some people say that it's not a good idea to feed your barn cats because you want them to hunt. And I don't believe that to be true all the time. I do want to supplement. That's just my personal preference. I'm not forcing anybody to follow what I'm saying here. It's just my personal preference. I like to supplement a little bit of food for the cats. I feed them in the morning. I feed them in the evening. They get two meals a day. They get breakfast as a wet food. And then they have dinner, which is a dry food. I give them these, these whiskus packets of wet food. It's got a lot of meat in it. And there's many different flavors and the cats love it. They'll finish this off no problem and that's a good breakfast for them. I have not seen any negative impacts of feeding the cats. They still hunt and I mean honestly you can hardly catch a glimpse of them catching a mouse. I was able to film a few hunts where they actually caught something. But I mean I'm sure the cats are hunting and hunting all day long, all night long and I don't even know about it. Sometimes I just see there's remnants, like I came into the barn one day and there was a half-eaten chipmunk leg right here. So where did the whole body of the chipmunk go? You know where? In Chunky's stomach. He ate the whole thing. <laughs> the whole gang's here. The whole gang. Hey, you guys take it easy. You're twins. Maggie, are you okay? Lovely. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's go. Time to go to bed. Time to go to bed, cats. No more playtime. Time to go to the barn, okay? Time to go to the barn. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Cats are a great addition to any farm and should be treated as an asset and we love to employ cats. I love hanging around with the cats. I've turned into a cat guy. And if you have a rodent problem, whether you're in the city 
or whether you're in the country or whether you're on a farm, a cat is your best defense against mice and other rodents, that's for sure. And if you want to see more of these barn cats growing up on the farm and watch their antics, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And don't forget to pound the like. Really appreciate it.